Yo, what's up guys, Sam here. And just like you, I got my pitchfork at the ready, my guitar, my, my board, I'm ready to riot because Apple said that iOS 13.2 was coming out today for developers and I looked on my phone and on the developer portal and it wasn't there. Turns out even Apple didn't know it was supposed to not come today because they told a ton of publications that it was coming that have a good track record and then it just didn't end up shipping. We now have an exact release date for when this is coming and it's actually coming a bit sooner than you think. And on top of that, the headlining feature has been revealed exclusive to the newest iPhone models right here. So I wanna give you guys all the details about iOS 13.2 and of course, when developer beta one is dropping. If you're excited for this video, drop a like down below, hit subscribe for more, let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so prior to today, we actually had a ton of features Apple already confirmed for iOS 13.2. I'm talking about inside of the home app, being able to view HomeKit secure video, sharing iCloud drive folders, being able to work in HomePod or AirPlay 2 in scenes and automations, announce messages with Siri, I know this is one you guys are looking forward to, where you have Beats branded or AirPods headphones where Siri will actually read messages aloud to you and then you can seamlessly and really easily reply back without even looking at your watch or your phone to get back to who just texted you. And this is also on top of a new image capture API that developers can take advantage of and one more thing that I just forgot. Ah, how could I forget the wonderful screen time communication limits? So if you have children, you'll be able to restrict when they can text people. That's gonna be really fun. Smash like for that, guys. But today, Apple revealed a new feature that I wasn't sure would be introduced in 13.1, but they have confirmed it, and it is called Deep Fusion. Now, unlike these other features that will be available for all devices across the board, this is restricted to the newest iPhones, the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 11 Pro. And it has to do with their fancy new camera systems. It is called Deep Fusion. Fusion, and it is uh, some pretty cool Apple technology that sounds like has been in the works for a while. So I wanna explain how it works. Also, the two sample images that Apple shared don't really give it any justice or show us how it works, because number one, both the people are in sweaters, which is weird. Like that just seems like a strange coincidence, doesn't it? I, I think we can coin this one sweater gate. So I'm gonna be pulling this info from an article by The Verge. They talked to Apple and got a really good look, like a very exceptionally detailed look at how Deep Fusion works. Again, only on the newest iPhones because they require a lot of processing power. So much processing power, in fact, that when you actually take an image that the camera automatically detects could be viable for Deep Fusion, if you go into the camera app, your camera roll right away, like less than a second after taking the photo, you're gonna see a proxy image letting you know that like the, the real one's not there yet. So you might actually see details update while you're looking at this photo because uh, the, the process is pretty calm. Plex. Now, I'm not a super technical person, but I've read through it and I wanna try my best to describe it. So if I get something wrong, I'm sorry, this is a very, very confusing thing to explain. So essentially, what Deep Fusion is, is a medium light camera mode that is enabled by default. Before you've even hit the shutter button, it takes four photos at a super short exposure and four photos at a regular exposure. Then when you actually press the shutter button, it takes a long exposure of exactly what you're shooting. It then combines some of those regular frames with the long exposure to create what Apple's calling a synthetic long, like a, a long shot. So it's the regular shots combined with the long exposure. Now keep in mind you already captured those short exposure images. So Apple then lays those images, uh, well one of those short exposure images on top of the synthetic long. So technically they're now combining two photos together, the synthetic long and the super short exposure. Bam, those are together. So then Apple takes all these images inside of your new image and runs them through detail processing like pixel by pixel and extracts the greatest amount of detail out of all these photos to give you one great end result. And that's what makes it a bit different than smart HDR. I don't know if this explanation did it justice, but that's, that's the best I can describe. Just when you think of deep fusion, Think of lots and lots of detail. Now let's look at some sample images. All right, so Apple shared two images, again, of weird sweater people, and it's pretty impressive. They look very high resolution, and you can tell that the background is relatively similar to the subjects that Apple is shooting. This is not taking place when there's a big bright sky behind somebody or when they're standing in front of a large object. Like this seems really focused, uh, probably on shooting people or objects in I would say relatively calm lighting environment. So here's your first ever look at Deep Fusion. Obviously, I'm gonna try this out when it actually launches, but for now, this is our best 
Look. So now you're wondering, this all sounds pretty cool, when can I get my hands on it? The answer is really soon. Uh, according to Darian Fireball, who has a direct line of communication with Apple, this is coming tomorrow, which is going to be on Wednesday, October 2nd, 2019. Likely gonna be dropping around the 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We don't know what the issue was today, but we do have confirmation now from Apple that this is coming tomorrow, or if you're watching this because I'm posting it a bit later at night, just today on Wednesday, October 2nd, 2019. And it turns out it could also be later this week as well. I think the post was updated after I recorded that last bit. So early as tomorrow, probably as late as Friday this week, but we should be on track to see iOS 13.2 before the start of next week. So I'll see you guys then with a look at Deep Fusion and all the other features that are coming in iOS 13.2. On top of this though, I think that this could be the emoji update as well, but I'm not sure. Apple could be waiting until iOS 13.3, but we do know that Apple has said that new emojis are coming before the end of 2019, and generally, the point two update has been when that happens. So I'll keep you guys updated on that as well. If you enjoy this video, if you learned something new, if you found it useful, drop a like, it does seriously help me out, and hit subscribe so you guys stay up to date on the latest Apple news. I'll catch up with you tomorrow when iOS 13.2 launches. In the meantime, I'm gonna be chilling here. All right, see you guys later, bye.